Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about frequency allocation and few satellite services. Okay. So before getting into the frequency allocations, we need to know few committees as well as unions which are related to these particular satellite frequency allocation as well as satellite communications. Okay. So first of all, satellite communications employ microwave frequencies for their operations. That is. 0.3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So for the satellite communication, we require microwave frequencies or the signals with respect to 0.3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz of frequency. Okay, and we have several boards, committees, or the unions. Let's see it one by one. So the first uh, board is IFRB. It is International Regulation Frequency Board, and the second one is CCIR. It is the International Radio uh, Consultative Committee. And the third one, CCITT, it is the International Telegraphy and Telephony Consultative Committee. And the uh, last one is the ITU, it is the International Telecommunication Union. Okay. And coming to the satellite services, we have several satellite services here. So, uh, if you see the first one, it is a fixed satellite service. We call it as FSS, that is for TV signals. And the next comes the broadcast satellite service. So the short, short of broadcast satellite service is BSS. So that is mainly used for DTH live programs. And the next one is the mobile satellite service. We can call it as MSS. So it is mainly used for land or aeronautical mobile communications. And the next one is the navigational satellite service. We can short form call it as NSS. It is the radio and marine navigation. So mainly used for radio and marine navigation purpose. And the last one is meteorological satellite services. It can also be considered as MSS. Okay. So this is uh, uh, mainly used for our weather forecasting. Okay. Day to day. And coming to the most popular satellite frequency bands. We have few frequency bands, which we have already seen in the um, microwave communication system. As we are using the same microwave signals for this satellite communication, here also same microwave signal plays an important role for the uplink as well as downlink of the uh, satellite communications. So the band, what we see here, we have C band, KU band, and well, as well as K band, okay? So let's see one by one, what is this C, KU, and K band? These frequencies are most widely used in the satellite communications. Okay. So if you take the first one C band. So C band, if you are going for a C band, okay, the downlink frequency. So downlink means whatever the signal we are taking from the satellite towards the earth station. Okay. In a C band, the frequency will be around four gigahertz. And the upload frequency, if at all you want to transmit some signal to earth station to the satellite, okay, in a C band, the uplink frequency will be around six gigahertz, okay. And coming to the KU band, in KU band, the download frequency from the satellite, the signal which is getting from the satellite in the KU band, it will be operated with around 12 gigahertz of frequency and the uplink, if at all you want to send the signal uh, from the earth station to the satellite using KU band, okay, so the uplink frequency will be uh, 14 gigahertz. And coming to the K band, the last one, the last majorly popular one, the K band. So it will be using around 20 gigahertz for the downlink frequency and 30 gigahertz for the uplink frequency. So all these are frequency bands which are very much popular in the satellite communication. Along with this uh, popular fre satellite frequency bands, you also have these kind of satellite services, MSS, FSS, BSS, okay, NSS, which are used for television, weather forecasting, okay, and uh, various mobile communications as well, and also for the radio and marine navigation. Along with this satellite communication or the satellite services, we have several boards, committees, as well as the unions. We can consider them as IFRB, CCIR, CCITT, and ITU, okay. So all these are very, very basic uh, important points to be remembered, okay. 